This hit the top of the trending list on printables within a few days of its release, so that speaks to how interesting this high torque 100% printed screwdriver is. In the comments there's mixed feelings on this model, so how did it screw its way to the top and can it handle the pressure? Let's print and see. The download files for this one includes a full model file with all the parts laid out in one as well as all the individual files for each part which is handy if you want to print only one or two pieces in a different colour. I went for a popular brand colour scheme here with just one part in black making a contrast. This model is created by Revolver 3D Prints and while it's free there's a link to a paid version and a PayPal donation link as well. I don't normally go into this but something that comes up more and more in video comments is around people finding models being sold on Amazon or Etsy by people that aren't the OG creators. I don't have an answer to stop that but if you can support the original creators to make sure they can keep creating. There's quite a few steps and some are a little fiddly so be sure to download the actual PDF instructions that's in with the model files. A lot of people have complained that the instructions aren't clear and it's missing steps but they're probably not looking at the full instructions. There's a couple of pages with all the steps really well laid out. You can follow each step in the guide but a lot of the comments on this model is that, that people would like a bit more detail so here's how I put it together. First step, the four gears, they can be a little bit tricky and there's even a helper part to get them all in the, at the same time. It's tricky, but you just need to get all four in over the lip of that center part before you slide it down. Once it's in, you won't be able to get the gears in otherwise. Where the instructions use grease, I used a silicon spray that I normally use and works with all tight fitting parts. I think a thicker grease would have actually worked better on these gears because they kind of are a little loose and rattle around a bit and the thicker grease would help fill those gaps a little. I glued the sun gear on the bottom. It's an optional step in the instructions but I found it essential. The selector gear is one part that you don't want to use supports on. They are really hard to get out and you need to make sure you get it all out for it to work. So don't do what I did. I used a standard super glue wherever the instructions said to glue. Tried to show here where the selector sits and it's glued around the hex part on the shaft and how it engages moving that shaft up and down. And those long body parts are a little bit thin at the base so be careful of that part too. Mine did crack a little but just a touch of super glue kept that strong. The bit holder I found tricky to line up if I put it in the body and it was easier to get everything together if I attached it to the main body and then put the cover over the top. The base parts fit on with a really nice click but they are a little bit loose and I ended up gluing those to keep them on. I found when testing they popped off easily after it was sort of worn in a little bit. I didn't put a magnet in because the size recommended is a bit of an odd size and I didn't have any. I think one improvement might be to add an optional bit holder for different size magnets. Remixing is currently not allowed with the license on the model at the moment but you could potentially change the part from the 3MF file that's included if you've got the skills. So there it's all together, the locking ring works, the selector works, although it needs a little jiggle to move it into place sometimes. I tested it on this rope tensioner print from a few videos back, which has some quite tight screws on it. First locking the driver, it works as you'd expect, it feels good in my hand and it fits nicely. You can see the high torque mode spins really slow and definitely gives you what it should. If I compare locking it and screwing which is really tight in high torque mode while it's slow you basically turn with no effort at all. I can imagine if you have arthritis or strength problems in your hand this would be really useful. In high speed mode though I didn't really notice any high speed. I don't think I did anything wrong with the assembly and it definitely turns fine. I don't see it turn more than how fast I am turning the mechanism. If I lock it in it spins about the same speed. And I noticed there is a few people in the comments that have the same result there. 
so I feel like the high torque mode is a real winner. Seeing it's the first release, I'm really looking forward to any improvements that come through from everyone's comments. So make sure you take a picture, post your make if you print this one and give your feedback so that the designer can improve this as much as possible. It's already a slick model. It has the potential to be a screwdriver to replace anything that you've already got. Drop a comment below, let everyone know what you thought of this model and we'll see you next time.